Hello students. Today we are going to discuss uh, the topic that is the uh, physiology of hemostasis. Now the word hemostasis originates from the Greek word heme. Heme refers to blood uh, while stasis refers to stagnation that is slowing or the stoppage of blood. Thus hemostasis is a a normal physiological process that prevents and stop bleeding from an injured blood vessel. Now let's first review uh, the structure of the wall of a blood vessel in order to understand the process of hemostasis. Now this is a transverse section of a blood vessel. Now blood vessel as we all know uh, the blood vessels they are the elastic tubes through which the blood circulates in the body. body. So this is the uh, transverse section of a blood vessel this is in the center is a lumen lumen is a space in which the blood flows and this is a wall of the blood vessel now wall of the blood vessel is made up of three layers outermost is termed as a tunica adventitia middle is termed as a tunica media and the innermost is termed as a tunica intima now tunica adventitia the main purpose of uh, tunica adventitia is the protection it is a uh, it is made up of fibrous tissue then the central layer, it is termed as a tunica media and it is made up of uh, smooth muscle cells. Now when these smooth muscle cells contract, there is contraction of the blood vessel. That is there is narrowing of the blood vessel. And when these smooth muscles, uh, they relax, there is widening of the uh, blood vessel. Now the innermost is the tunica intima which is uh, made up of uh, two sub layers. Uh, which is made up of uh, two different layers. Uh, the innermost is termed as the endothelium. It is made up of endothelial cells. And below the endothelium is the subendothelium, which is made up of collagen. Now, whenever there is injury in the, uh, in the wall of the blood vessel, this collagen is exposed. It comes in contact with the blood. And that initiates the process of the formation of clot. Now, there are five steps uh, in the process of hemostasis. Now we will study all the different uh, processes one by one. Uh, now first step is a vasospasm. Now if the wall of a blood vessel is injured, injured blood is going to escape uh, from the injured blood vessel in the surrounding. Now this vasospasm or vasoconstriction, it uh, constricts the blood vessel. The blood vessels become narrow and this reduces the blood loss. Second step is a platelet blood plug formation. Uh, the platelets they stick to each other. Uh, they form a platelet plug. And this platelet plug, it uh, temporarily seals the injured site of the wall of the blood vessel. Uh, platelet plug formation is followed by the coagulation. Uh, now in the co coagulation, uh, this is a process in which there is formation of clot. Now in clot formation, fibrin mash uh, network is produced. And this fibrin mash network, it is laid over the platelet plug. And this fibrin network, it strengthens the platelet uh, plug. And now uh, the platelet plug uh, is termed as to be the clot. Now this clot, it seals the injured site uh, of the blood vessel and it further uh, stops the bleeding. So coagulation is followed by the clot retraction and the repair. Now, uh, the platelets, they contract, uh, the clot shrinks and the ruptured edges of the blood vessels, they come together, closing the hole of the injured vessel. Now, once the hole is closed completely, there is no more loss of blood. There, are no, there is no chance of the loss of blood and followed by that, followed by the clot retraction, there is repair. There is repair of the injured tissue. Now, uh, fibrin, last step is the fibrinolysis. Now, the fibrin clot dissolves after healing of the blood vessel. And uh, this is a process of uh, hemostasis. This is how hemostasis stops bleeding and repairs the injured blood vessel. Now, let's study the process of uh, hemostasis in detail. Now, here I have explained every step of hemostasis with the help of a diagram. Now this is a diagram, it shows uh, a blood vessel. Now blood vessel, uh, as it is clear from the diagram, uh, the blood is circulating in this blood vessel and the wall I have shown only tunica intima, innermost lining is the endothelium 
and uh, below the endothelium is present a subendothelial layer which is made up of collagen. Now this is a vessel wall injury. Uh, whenever there is a, a vessel wall injury, uh, the blood escapes in the surrounding. Now the first step of uh, hemostasis is a vasospasm. Now uh, this is the blood vessel. There is a uh, this is a site of injury. Now this is a normal human. Now as soon as as soon as there is a vessel injury, the blood vessel get injured. Uh, there is vasoconstriction. Uh, that is, there is a constriction of the blood vessel. The smooth muscles in the tunica media they contract, and there is a narrowing of the lumen of blood vessel. Now compared to this lumen, uh, the size of this lumen, this diameter. Uh, there is narrowing of the lumen and this is termed as a vasoconstriction. So the injured endothelial cells, uh, they release many chemicals. One of the most important chemical is the endothelines. So these injured endothelial cells, they release endothelines. And these endothelines, they induce contraction of the smooth muscle cells which are present in the tunica media. And this is responsible for vasoconstriction. And this vasoconstriction is responsible for the narrowing of the lumen of the uh, blood vessel. There is reduced circulation of blood in this area and therefore there is reduced uh, loss of blood. Now vasospasm is followed by the second step that is the uh, formation of the platelet plug. Uh, this is also termed as a primary hemostasis. Now injured endothelium, uh, this is the injured endothelium red colored uh, in injured endothelium, it releases a factor which is termed as a von Willebrand factor. Now, once this one uh, which I have shown here with the black color, now this von Willebrand factor, as soon as it is released, it binds to the exposed collagen. Now, followed by this, uh, the platelets they bind to this von Willebrand factor. Now, once the platelet bind to the von Willebrand factor, uh, the platelets become activated. And these activated platelets, uh, they produce adenosine diphosphate, thromboxane A2 and 5-hydroxytryptamine. Now these are the chemicals which further stimulate the process of platelet aggregation. Uh, the platelets, uh, they stick to each other, uh, they aggregate and they form the platelet plug. So this is a platelet plug. Now this platelet plug, it is weak. Uh, so this weak platelet plug, it temporarily seals the injured site in the wall of blood vessel. Now this platelet plug formation is followed by the process of coagulation that is formation of clot. Now in the process of formation of clot, uh, there is a formation of or uh, there is production of uh, fibrin mash network. Now this fibrin mash network, it is laid over the platelet plug. This fibrin mash network, this is a network of the fibrin it gets laid over the platelet plug and this uh, fibrin mash network uh, in this are embedded uh, the platelets, uh, the blood cells and the plasma protein. It traps uh, platelets, plasma proteins, blood cells and it forms a, a structure. This structure is now termed as a clot. Now this clot, it seals, it is, it is strong compared to a platelet plug and it seals the uh, injured site of the blood vessel and it completely prevents the escape of blood in the surrounding and this process of coagulation is termed as a secondary hemostasis. Now let's talk about the third process in detail that is the process of coagulation, process of formation of clot. Now there are 13 clotting factors where the clotting factor 6 is unknown. Now these clotting factors in the blood, they act in a cascade, they act in a series and they finally form a fibrin mash network. Uh, now in this fibrin mash network are entrapped uh, the platelets, blood cells and other plasma protein and finally the structure that is produced is termed as a blood clot. Now this blood clot is formed by the two processes. One process is called as extrinsic pathway and the other process is called as an intrinsic pathway. Now we will not go in the details of these pathways uh, here in this uh, video. So the extrinsic pathway, uh, it is initiated because of an external injury to the wall of blood vessel. For example, because of any trauma. And internal intrinsic pathway, it is initiated because of internal injury to the wall of blood vessel. Uh, and here what happens is, is that endothelium is injured, uh, the subendothelium is injured, 
uh, the collagen gets exposed and this collagen when it comes in contact with the blood it initiates the process of clotting now in both the pathways there is activation of clotting factor 10 so there is activation of clotting factor 10 and this 10a a refers to activated so this uh, activated clotting factor 10 in the presence of activated uh, clotting factor 5 and calcium ions it converts prothrombin which is inactive to active clotting factor that is thrombin now this thrombin it uh, uh, it acts upon the fibrinogen that is the inactive clotting factor and it converts fibrinogen to fibrin now uh, one thing to note is this that fibrinogen is a soluble plasma protein it is a clotting factor and it is soluble it is a soluble plasma protein whereas fibrin it is insoluble it is insoluble in the plasma and therefore uh, fibrin monomers are produced fibrin molecules are produced which are uh, insoluble now in the presence of uh, activated clotting factor 13 and calcium ions these fibrin monomers they crosslink with each other and they form long fibrin threads so there is cross-linking of fibrin and there is formation of fibrin mesh network that is fibrin uh, threads are produced and these threads they get entangled with each other resulting in the formation of fibrin mesh network and this fibrin mesh network it gets laid over the weak platelet plug and this network it traps uh, within itself blood cells and other plasma proteins apart from the uh, platelet plug and this entire structure is termed as a clot now this clot it seals the injured blood vessel wall and thus it controls and it prevents the further bleeding while the tissue regeneration takes place the process is termed as coagulation and this is also termed as secondary hemostasis now let's talk about the fourth step of hemostasis that is a clot retraction and repair. Now clot retraction and repair is followed after the process of coagulation. Now here uh, in the process of coagulation uh, there was formation of clot. Now during the process of clot retraction the, this clot contracts. Uh, this clot shrinks in the size. It reduces in the size because of the contraction of the platelet. Now when this clot shrinks the ruptured or the broken uh, edges of the blood vessels uh, they come close together and finally this hole uh, is hole in the injured blood vessel is closed so retraction closes the hole of injured uh, blood vessel and the bleeding stops now platelets they release a platelet derived growth factor now this platelet derived growth factor is responsible for the proliferation uh, of smooth muscle cells uh, that is uh, the healing of uh, tunica media now platelet derived growth factors are also responsible for the regeneration of connective tissue that is the regeneration of collagen that is a repair of the subendothelial tissue and apart from that the platelets also release vascular endothelium growth factor which is responsible for the regeneration of endothelial cells that is uh, the healing of tunica intima so clot retraction and repair now the fifth uh, step is the fibrinolysis now this is a process of breakdown of uh, fibrin and the removal of clot after the healing of after the complete healing of injured blood vessel now plasminogen uh, a protein uh, which is trapped in the clot it gets activated now this plasminogen it gets converted into active plasmin by the tissue plasminogen activator which is also released from endothelium now this plasmin it breaks the fibrin fibers uh, which causes the breakdown of clot and uh, there is release of the breakdown products as it is shown here in the diagram that once the healing of blood vessel is complete the clot is broken down and these are the uh, breakdown products of the clot now this is how hemostasis uh, stops bleeding and it repairs the injured blood vessel so this is all about hemostasis physiology of hemostasis now if you find the topic helpful kindly like it subscribe it and share this video uh, you can ask your doubts in the comment section i will surely answer all your doubts 
and uh, thanks for watching the video